Welcome Aries, if you have Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising placements, this reading is for you uh, for October uh, 2024. And you got Nine of Cups, Fulfillment, Joy, Happiness, Celebrations. Yeah, you can feel, you know, <laughs> the happiness. And I asked a little bit more about it, and you got the moon. So a lot of emotions, daydreams, visualizing. I really felt that um, this is something that you had been dreaming about, and it answers one more time with nine of cups. So, and then you got in solitude, man, masculine energy, and um, five of wands competition something is challenging uh, and the solitude it's it is a reminder how how important it is to to pause you know being still meditate reevaluate so I feel some um, that you are reevaluating that you are there's something challenging uh, I feel in your commun community <laughs> um, some conflicts disagreements yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Feel some tension. Um, because of some type of opportunity or a door key on getting a new home, there's some conflict or on if you should move or not or um, get your own key the spirit is also giving me the feeling that you you're struggling <laughs> it's difficult to um, open up you know the last door um, to um, yeah to get this fulfillment that um, this is something that you only visualizing, you know, um, it's not real yet. Uh, that might be the case, it don't have to be. Okay, some arguments um, in a commitment between you and another person. Um, or something you know your, about your principles, your values, but you, you will get the clarity and the truth will come out um, if there is something that um, that is unclear. Okay, hold on. You will find out um, what to cut if there is something that needs to go that doesn't serve anymore in October. I'll ask uh, more, <laughs> a little bit more, and then in November. We've got some interesting yourself you're stepping into a power the emperor <laughs> born leader take control and juggling balancing and getting some you know difficulties financially i feel you know embracing the child healing going inward i haven't cleared uh, the cards yet and um, a letter I feel that you're going to be busy <laughs> in November. And as a child, good news around the child. I'm getting some, yeah, clarity, some truth. Wow. I was getting something from your childhood. Uh, yeah, I lost it. <laughs> yeah, and key and sight. Wow opens up new door new pathway so and the key can also, also signify that if there's something in back you know in a childhood from a childhood apologize my english <laughs> uh, that you um tried or something you love to do um but there were you know uh, obstacles and um yeah burdensome and heavy it didn't go um try once more Try one more time, you know, the challenges, the obstacles, 
will be removed. I feel uh, excited and um, yeah, fun. I feel joy and happiness. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Tricky situations around finances or, you know, creating the balance between work and um, home, family and home, um, family and work. I mean, <laughs> someone is bossy, dominating. So, <clears throat> so something is changing in your daily life, ordinary routines, masculine energy. You don't have to be a man. So there's a some information or uh, perhaps invitation or there's something um, perhaps a phone call that is coming in um, in um, November December enlightenment well we have been waiting I feel wish fulfillment new home <laughs> I'm getting this I want to move I want my own home I want my own key um Feel very passionate, creative, perhaps you're starting a business from home, uh, using your knowledge or studying, yes. And yeah, well, good luck anyway. It's a big change in December, December for you. Destiny, a turning point. Wow. Um, I feel, you know, balancing, you know, your emotions. I feel this conflicts, this, there's something um, in this home. Um, it's hard to um, balance, you know, your control. <laughs> I'm getting some control issues. Um, but you are empathic and, um, you, you know, usually uh, you are emotionally balanced. But it, there's something that is, you know, you're weighing options and I ask the, the Wheel of Fortune in December, December and the Two of Pentacles again. So I'm getting... Um, weighing options perhaps you're getting more than one opportunity you know if you want to move or yeah there's a big shift in december for you aries in uh, yeah in december all right you have romantic feelings uh, if you haven't met it very soon it's coming very very soon new love past life relationship you deserve love and yeah getting to know each other on a deeper level and the last one. Protection. You are protected, honey. Wow. The honey protected. And please do call upon uh, Archangel Michael every day for protection. All right, lovely. Thank you for watching. Take good care and I'll see you soon. Welcome to your reading, Leo. If you have Leo placement, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this reading is for you for October, November, and December 2024. Or from you, watch this video. Temperance in October, balance, harmony, feeling guided, um, but also um, moderation, being patient. I feel that. Um, there's a competition, something is very challenging in October, in a partnership, in a union. Um, a lot of tension, clashing egos. I'm getting this imbalance. But I feel that um, <laughs> in October uh, there will be more balance, more clear uh, with the boundaries, clear with the intentions. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. So perhaps this. Um, yeah, I'm getting some um, um, clarity, mental clarity between you two, or to find a balance, how to manage, how to fix this because this is not working. Um, this is not a teamwork. <laughs> um, okay, November. I feel this imbalance, I feel um, the Seven of Pentacles. 
reveal you know, new beginning possibilities. See, um, you can't see it. Um, I feel stuck in the past memories, past memories, you know, love of love. So this is difficult um, decision to take the leap of faith, trust, find the trust. And yeah, be more adventurous. I will clarify them and in December you can release and let something go, all the stress, worries, anxiety, ten of swords, uh, number ten endings and new beginnings. Yeah, prepar <laughs> preparation. So expansion. Expansion. Perhaps you want to expand your business overseas. There's an opportunity. But you're moving forward. So what's next? <laughs> Um, in December, yeah, you're going through transformation, something heartbreaking, something sad. Uh, I feel that you're leaving this behind and I'm getting self-forgiveness. Yeah, finding peace. Yeah, so there's a change. There is a um, transformation going on with the stork. Um, this can be in a love relationship or with someone you love or facing some difficulties, you know, loving yourself <laughs> uh, to find the peace within yourself. And seven of pentacles reversed and the fool. And it's very challenging delays it takes time I know <laughs> but the seeds you planted whatever you have uh, you know um, started it's growing it takes time yes wish fulfillment you have faith you have hope hopes and dreams so keep the faith and take the leap of faith to your souls Yeah, weighing options, stagnation, use your knowledge, your wisdom, your talent, your experiences, six of cups, memories of love. Hmm. Yeah, bring back, you know, playfulness, having fun, you will accomplish this and the sun, you know, celebrations, victory, and big success, ten of swords, and three of wands, mm, feels like a child again, happy, vulnerable, Ooh. Yeah, so the, you know, I'm getting, uh, you know, accept, acceptance, your past, who you are. And I feel all this sadness and um, struggles is ending or has ended. But I feel completion and change, significant change in December. And fish gaining profit, being firm, determined, strong, powerful, fish can signify you know short-lived money but also a wealthy person masculine don't have to be one more for the child some of you are going to visit a child or yeah okay so this is something you desire <laughs> i feel more than one opportunity so it's how to choose I feel that there has been some clarity, unclarity, you know, illusions, um, daydreaming, wishful thinking. And yeah, <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Comfort, in, increasing comfort. <laughs> yes, wow, abundance. Financial stability. 
feeling grounded, feeling um, you have been practicing um, for a long, long time now, and finally you have the, the balance, the stability, the security. But I feel that um, there, will come, uh, there will be more. Thank you. Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Yeah, the timer, 707. Very soon. If you haven't met it, or if there's something that you've been trying to, to manifest, be clearly, clearly be clear on what you want. Um, so that it comes to you faster. Stay optimistic about your love life and free yourself. You know, it's time to take back control of your life. If that's the case, that you're doing too much. Yes, it is safe for you to learn and some of you are going through some healing, healing family issues. And forgiveness and express the love. <laughs> One last card. 815. The underworld. Yeah, I'm getting you know shadow work. The father. Wow. I feel that you are being guided. And rebirth again. <laughs> wow, many of us are going through this rebirth. Wow, cycles, yes, it's shifting. This quite lovely. Thank you for watching and take good care. And I'll see you soon. All right, welcome to your reading, Sagittarius. If you have a strong placement in the chart, um, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This reading uh, is for you um, for October, November and December uh, this year. Okay, for October, <laughs> you're a great manifester. You are manifesting, you know, firm foundation. Wow, well, for October, you're teaming up with someone, creating, doing, whatever. I feel, you know, not, uh, leadership, um, perhaps this is you. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, yeah, and victory. So accomplish, yeah, a firm foundation. So I feel that, um, wow, recognition. Recognition, good news, really good news for you in October, Sagittarius. I'm so happy for you. Wow, well done. And in November, um, yeah, Six of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. King of Swords and Six of Cups again. Wow. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, I feel, you know, very focused and I was getting focused and some memories from, you know, some nostalgia. I feel some somebody, someone from the past is coming. Um, can be past life relationship it don't have to be from this lifetime um yeah happy memories and yeah i feel joy <laughs> innocence and yeah and this king he is very clear clear mind intelligent <clears throat> disciplined reliable And honest. I feel that you really there. Blah, blah, I can't talk. <laughs> can't speak. Okay. And for December, I will clarify. And I feel that this is you. Uh, perhaps this is you, or this is your counterpart. You know, the King and uh, Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Um, you're looking so good, so attractive, and yeah, very passionate, you know, moving forward and so excited um, about this change. It, it feels significant change, signif 
really significant shift with the wheel of fortune good luck anyway yeah sexy and charming <laughs> i feel good <laughs> yeah wow so i feel turning point for you uh, sagittarius in Sag in december <laughs> I feel that you are overcoming challenges in um, something very challenging in October Sagittarius and you know I feel that you are seeing the bigger picture and you realize <laughs> uh, that you are a great manifester um, yeah and that's what I'm getting okay entrepreneur I'm getting my own business and new friendship the bouquet appreciation lady i feel that this is you don't have to be a lady but feminine energy thank you yeah i'm getting a tall person um powerful and strong some of you are working for government authorities or with somebody who is working for them or there's something very powerful and yeah i feel that you're very focused and you will get the clarity if you know i feel career and creating something new beginning in the six of months can you please tell me more so i feel very clear uh, in october and accomplish something big for you Can be a promotion, some type of achievement. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, perhaps you 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 want to travel or you need to travel in this um, there's really you know some good news so you can yeah you feel calm. You move away from the stress or whatever um a challenge you know overcoming uh, challenges thank you i feel that in november you're going to be so focused and determined gaining profit <laughs> well firm <laughs> and you follow you're following your heart you listen to heart your desire what your heart desire <clears throat> um might be somebody you know like I said, from the past, that is coming back and snake. Uh, yeah, can be dishonesty, someone who is sneaky, but I feel passionate and desire and happy memories, joy, nostalgia. Um, perhaps you have to cut something um, or change something that is has been painful. You have been suffering from this or um, yeah some tricky situations yeah in your daily life ordinary uh, routines that um, I'm getting clear mind on something <clears throat> um, tell me more about the uh, this one, one card chemistry yes there's a strong um, magnetic attraction here. <laughs> yeah, an attraction. Well, finances, finances and career might be, um, yeah, and a wedding. So perhaps you're planning a wedding and, you know, you're working, you're working really hard and saving some money and, you know, um, to, to get um, enough, you know, um, to complete this. Okay, hold on. I'm not really sure for December. There might be something between you and another feminine energy, or that you are <clears throat> changing transformation. Yeah, Leo. So if you have a strong placement in the chart, Leo. I believe it's it was the Leo Leo's reading, uh, transformation. I feel this transformation, this shift changing you know how you look how you behave um yeah 
I feel that this is a, your destiny. <laughs> wow. Transforming, changing. Thank you. Can you please tell me more about the second lady? Feel more mature. Yeah, change, transformation. So this is you. Um, eight o eight. Uh, don't have to be. Um, oh, I lost it. Okay. Anyway. Mm. <clears throat> so, if you have met someone, you know, if you are in a lot of rela <laughs> relationship. <laughs> This situation involves marriage. Oops. For some of you, this talks about new love. That someone new has stirred your romantic feelings, forgiving and learning. You're going through healing and forgiving. Um, releasing your past and heal the past. Then you, yeah, on a honeymoon, I can't make this up. <laughs> wow. And trust. Playfulness, yes, make the effort. It, it is safe for you to load. <laughs> Timer, 9.15. Solar plexus chakra. And sacrifice. What needs to go if there is something? Yeah, uh, yeah, solar plexus. Um, it's um, right before your heart chakra. So perhaps you're not cleansing, balancing your chakras. All right, lovely. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Ciao.